Somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. I say, somebody look at your neighbor and say, she finna bring it tonight. And if you ain't got a neighbor, look at yourself and say, she finna bring it to fuck a night. Oh, we gonna jump right into it, because that's how we do it over here. I ain't gonna play with it tonight. We gonna speak about this. I did a video on Donald Trump and I told y'all that it would be fraud going on, you know, in some of these elections. Donald Trump, he lost the election and then he tried to lie and say that he won. Now, before we get into that situation right there, Let's talk a little bit about this fucker, Donald Trump. I said it's going to get real to fuck a good night. Is that all right? Okay, come on, let's do it. You know, because everybody, y'all know that Donald Trump is a motherfucker a gangster. And the only thing that he care about is money, power, and respect. That's all you need in life. Money, power, and respect. But the way that he go about things is totally unacceptable. And if you don't give him these things, money, power, and respect, he going to find a way to take it from you. Did everybody forget? I said, did everybody forget about what Trump's sister? I'm going to put everything in a link. Did y'all forget about what Trump's sister, Marianne, what she said about her brother, Donald Trump, and the Trump family. Donald Trump's sister. She said that Donald Trump was just like they motherfucker good daddy. Tight as a duck's ass. I told you about Donald Trump's daddy. I told y'all about that in a video that I did. That motherfucker was a racist. Part of the damn KKK. The Ku Klux Klan. And if you think that Donald Trump ain't part of the KKK Klan slash the group, you better think again. Donald Trump got the KKK on speed dial. Don't play with me to fuck a night. Whew! Ancestor said Donald Trump's sister. She ain't lying about the things that she was saying. About Donald Trump and the Trump family. She telling the truth. Donald Trump's sister went on to say that Donald Trump was a big ass fucker a liar. She said, my brother is a motherfucking liar. And what we see Donald Trump doing today, lying. If the judge can go and lock R. Kelly up for the crime that he committed, the judge, a different judge, I don't give a fuck. Y'all under the same system. The judge should be able to lock Donald Trump up for the crime that he committed. What's the motherfucker difference? Some people got to follow the law. But, but if you white, if you a white motherfucker, well known, in a high position, you can just do what the fucker you want to do. It don't work like that. And you got all these black celebrities and these niggas out here voting for Donald Trump. Spitting in our ancestors' faces. Vote for Trump. Trump, Trump, Trump. Trump can blow my fucker ass. Kiss it. Come on, let's speak on it. My people, I said, let's speak on this. It was a woman by the name of Cassidy Hutchinson. Everybody done heard about Cassidy, Cassidy Hutchinson. She all over the news. And she was known as, as being an aide and assistant to Chief of Staff Mark Meadows during the uh, Trump administration. So she was able, listen to me, my people. She was able to see and hear almost everything going on. 
Y'all know how it is. Word get around. Some people work at Family Dollar. Kroger's. Different places that you may work. Y'all know how the word get around. It ain't no motherfucker good difference. Cassidy Hutchison was able to hear and see everything going on. And not too long ago, y'all, she testified about what Donald Trump was doing while the January the 6th attack was taking place. Cassidy Hutchison said in so many words. Can I tell you what she said in, in so many words? She said that Donald Trump set up the motherfucker attack at the Capitol on January the 6th. In so many words, Donald Trump was the motherfucker who set the whole motherfucker thing up. Donald Trump, he wanted Michael Pence dead. We seen that for ourselves. He said, shit, fuck that shit. Michael Pence, we, we want his, I want his head to fuck, take his motherfucking head off. Get him out of here. Donald Trump won't, wanted Michael Pence dad and whoever else that that motherfucking KKK clan wanted to take out of here. Guess what? Donald Trump gave them the permission. Come on, y'all. Cassidy Hutchison, she said, after the attack at the Capitol took place, she said that, that, that Donald Trump, he was just sitting back watching the motherfucker footage. Play back the motherfucker footage. I want to see the attack on the Capitol video. This Donald Trump talking, y'all. He said, shit, fuck that. Rewind it to the good parts. I want to see the good parts. What the, the fuck is a good part? When you see people fighting and losing their lives. Donald Trump's ass -er was watching that Capitol attack like he was in a motherfucker movie theater. She give me my hot Cheetos in my now ladies, butler. Ghetto ass. Then they want to sit the fuck back and call niggas ghetto. No. The president Donald Trump that you voted for, that's the ghetto motherfucker. Huh. Cassidy Hutchinson. She said... Cassidy Hutchison, she said that Donald Trump was happy, a big smile on his face, huh, to see that Capitol attack go down. He was happy to see it. So you have to understand the mind of these type of people. I told you, they sit in the background with their cigars and they cheese and shit. And they laugh about things like this. They laugh about it. Oh, we going to do it like this. Huh? Oh, we going to do it like that. Sitting there laughing. This is their type of humor. Come on, y'all. That testimony. Listen to me, y'all. That testimony that Cassidy, Cassidy, you know, Hutchison's gave. Cassidy Hutchison is, is one of the main reasons. That they need to lock Trump up in jail. Just her testimony alone. Throw his ass in the motherfucking pit. And throw away the goddamn key. Whew. Donald Trump said. He said I don't give a shit. To he said I want y'all. To tell the people. That I won an election. Tell them that I won the election. I know that I really didn't win, but I want you motherfuckers to take your ass out there and go tell them that I won with flying colors. I'm going to need for y'all to lie for me. Go tell a lie for me. That's what Donald Trump said. That's why all this mess is going on now. Because they lying to protect Donald Trump. And they doing that in order to save their own motherfucker asses. If it wasn't for the district attorney, Fani, we give thanks to Fani. Thank you. If it wasn't for Fani, guess what? Donald Trump, Fani Willis, 
Donald Trump would have been still, you know, committing major crimes. Fucking over the people. And don't get it mixed up, white people. Because guess what? He fucking y'all over too. Okay? Are uh, we gonna go deeper down that rabbit hole? So we give thanks, okay, to Fonnie Willis. Catch it. All right? Let's go a little bit deeper down this rabbit hole, y'all. Is that all right? If we just go a little bit deeper. Tyler Perry. Y'all know Tyler Perry, he makes some good movies. Tyler Perry, he got a TV series on TV called The Oval. Some of y'all know about that right there. The Oval. I don't know why our ancestors had me watch that when I did, but now I do. When you get some time, go check it out. The Oval. And it's about a president. Okay? It's about a president. And things that, that go on, you know, in the White House, the Oval, and things of that nature. Ancestors, they spoke to me on this show. Ancestors said, what you see going on in that TV series, The Oval, is the same type of stuff that's really going on in the White House and with Trump when he was president, y'all. And even right now, when you look at the TV series, The Oval, the president on that show, he had his secret services, okay, and people that was under him hiding information. He had his, you know, secret services and people hiding information, killing people for no damn reason. He had them doing all types of stuff. And I'm going to say this, ancestors gave it to me. Donald Trump, he act just like that president that was acting in that motherfucking Oval Series. I'm trying to tell y'all, but ancestors said, but Donald Trump is worse. I told y'all, we be watching these TV series and these movies and things, and guess what? It be real life shit that's going on in the background. Oh, come on, my people. Come on, y'all. Put the pieces of the puzzle to what? Together. Some folks don't know this right here. See, that's why, that's why we have to, it's important that, that we talk about things. Different things, because see, some folk don't know about this right here, and some folks may have forgot. So, so ancestors said, bring it back to their remembrance, and bring it to the ones who don't know Donald Trump. And the Central Park Five. Y'all remember that? That story? Donald Trump and the Central Park Five? The court case? Well, let me break it down just a little bit. Donald Trump. In the Central Park Five court case, it was five boys, black and Hispanic boys. And Donald Trump lied on these black and Hispanic boys and said that these five boys raped this woman. They said, Donald Trump said, hell yeah, these five boys, these niggas and this Hispanics, they raped this woman. These five boys, y'all. The five Central Park Five boys, they end up spending years, huh, listen to me, years behind jail. Years in jail. Can you imagine spending years in jail for a crime that you didn't even commit? And then eventually, the man who actually raped the woman, he ended up coming forth confessing. And then end up, the police end up seeing, you know, his DNA matched evidence from the crime scene. They let the five boys out of jail and then end up paying the millions of dollars. And Donald Trump was the main one who started all of this shit to go right here. I said I'm going to put every link under this video so you can go and check it out. And when you read that story, it's going to shock your pants off. So what we see going on with Donald Trump today is, can I break it down? Ancestor said he is receiving that negative karma that he put out. It's coming back on his ass. I, I told y'all before, you better fix your motherfucker karma. 
Because when that shit come back, it'll come in a way that you would never expect for it to come. That's why this shit is going down with Donald Trump. It's time for him to pay his fucker karma. Go look the story up when you get some time. Now, you know, since we down this rabbit hole, we ain't going to stop right there. Let's see what we find. I said, let, let's see what we find down this, this rabbit hole, y'all, since we down here. Is that all right? Come on, let's do it. Not too long ago, the news reported. I'm talking about they re, they've been reporting on every goddamn these YouTube streets. I'm talking about these news reporters been reporting. The news report said that the fuck of the Secret Service deleted text messages of what happened on January 6th. In other words, the most important text messages that they needed. The Secret Service, they deleted it, y'all. Get rid of it. Okay? Get it out the way. And you know the Secret Service, they not allowed to just throw away or erase any motherfucking thing. They supposed to record everything. Come on, y'all. Y'all know that. But what's going on is some of these, these fuckers who part of the Secret Service, they part of the fucker setup, y'all, of what happened on January 6th. Listen to me. <laughs> so they got to protect their own asses. Listen, can, can, can we talk about that? Donald Trump says shit, bitch. He said, I, he talking to the Secret Service, y'all. Donald Trump says she is shit to go. I want y'all to bring in the most skilled hacker. The most skilled hacker that y'all can find. And I want y'all to have that motherfucking hacker come the fuck in here and hack, erase every motherfucker the text message from these phones, computers, and everything else that's related to January the 6th and whatever else we need a race. Bring his ass in. Okay, anything that can be traced, we want that motherfucker hacker to get rid of it. The motherfucking hacker came in and erased the messages and every damn thing. Donald Trump said, now, Donald Trump says shit now. Now he done erased everything. Now get this motherfucker on out of here. Shit. Secret Service got the hacker right up out of here so he can't speak on nothing later. Put it together. Do they really expect us to believe that, guess what, this Secret Service done accidentally erased the fuck of the messages? You must be out of your damn mind. Okay? It ain't no fuck of the way that these, 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 you know, text messages accidentally get erased. Bullshit. Come on, y'all. They must think we slow or stupid or ignorant. The Secret Service deleted them motherfucker's message. I say that to say that right here. Everything that we heard from people that gave their testimony. It just comes to prove to us that the testimony of all those witnesses is the damn truth. It's the truth, y'all. It's the truth. That right there. Secret Service erasing text messages and things like that is a serious violation. A serious violation. And honestly, at this point, they don't have to see the motherfucker could text messages. Fuck them messages. It's enough evidence right now to lock Donald Trump up in jail. And the other key players that was involved. Case motherfucker could close. Case closed. Ancestors gave me this prophecy right here. I'm almost done. But let me talk about it. Ancestors gave me. Gave it to me like this y'all. They gave me a prophecy. They said about this Donald Trump case. Okay. It's about to get real serious. All of the main judges, etc. Who has the last say so? Listen to me, whether Donald Trump 
will be arrested or let free. Those people are under judgment in the spiritual realm. If the decision is made for Donald Trump not to be arrested, listen to me, those judges, etc., who's over this case, the main ones who made that judgment, we're going to see some of them pass away, y'all. We're going to see some of them lose their lives, lose things that, that they love the most, what they value the most, etc., it's going to be a bad day for them. It's going to be bad days ahead for those judges, etc. And Sister said, if they agree with Donald Trump and he's able to walk free. Okay. And if they let him walk free like that, they're going to receive some of his karma. That's what it is. Since they agree with him, they shall receive some of his karma. This is it. I said, this is it. Donald Trump got blood on his hand that people don't know about. And if they allow Donald Trump to walk free, Donald Trump will call up that Chinese motherfucker, okay? Borrow some of his Chinese-ass soldiers, and that motherfucker will try to take over this whole USA. I am not motherfucking purping, okay? The plans that's planned out in the background will shock your motherfucker head off. I'm talking about with Donald Trump and other people. I promise that rabbit hole go deeper. If y'all want me to come back on that, I will come back with a part two, okay? Folks ask me. They said, so, so, madam, what's up, you know, with that Ivanka Trump, Trump situation? Donald Trump's ex-wife. Would have put it quite simple. Can, can we put it quite simple? Listen to me, Ivanka Trump, she was a sacrifice, period, point blank. We're going to go a little bit deeper on that. But let me do this first, and then we're going to go a little bit deeper, and I'm going to show you something. Y'all know how we do it over here. Uh-huh. Murder by those fuckers numbers. Ivanka Trump. Ivanka Trump died at age what? 73. Seven times three equal what? 21. Two plus one equal what? Three. There go our three right there. She died on July 14th, 2022. Let's add those numbers up and see what we get. Seven plus one plus four plus two plus two plus two equal what, y'all? 18. One plus eight equal what? Nine. What do you do with that nine? You do what they do. You flip it. And it become a what? Six. Put it together. What do you get? The three six murder by numbers right there. And sister, stop me. Sit up. And sister said, I want to show you something else. Now I want you to go look. <clears throat> excuse me. I want you to go look up that date that Ivanka passed on. Ivanka Trump, July 14th. Go look that date up. And when you look the date up, July 14th, you see that it's a holiday, y'all. July 14th is Bastille holiday. That's the holiday, Bastille holiday. What is the Bastille? What, what, what is the Bastille? What is the Bastille? The Bastille was used as a state prison by the kings of France. Now think about it. Put the pieces of the puzzle together. Ain't it weird that Ivanka Trump die, get blood sacrifice right around the time that they trying to decide if Donald Trump should go to prison or not? Think about that for a minute. Put the pieces of the puzzle together. This is it. So them judges and everybody who has the power to lock Donald Trump up or not, this is it. So you better make the correct judgment. <laughs>